From the Home Slice News Center, this is The Daily Slice for Thursday, March 7th of 2024. I'm Amy Rose, and this is what's going on. Monument Health and Dakota Wesleyan University have announced a space for its new nursing program in Rapid City. The new space is located at the Turbine Building on 1400 Turbine Drive with other occupants, including Monument Health's Human Resources Team and their Education and Professional Development Team. Dakota Wesleyan's Rapid City program will be offered for an Associate of Science degree with no LPN license required to enroll. Graduates will earn a two-year RN degree with a passing score on the state licensing exam. Classes will begin in August and applications are being accepted. The program is aimed at high school graduates or anyone wishing to pursue a career in nursing. The Rapid City Common Council approved a resolution Monday supporting the return of passenger rail service. Kevin Phillips has the details. Rapid City Mayor Jason Solomon read the resolution in the record at Monday night's council meeting saying, quote, I can tell you I'll be happy to sign this resolution. And the resolution was unanimously adopted. Passenger rail service in the city ended back in 1960. That's 64 years ago. In February, the Federal Railroad Administration identified several possible routes in its proposed network of preferred routes. One of the possible routes connects Rapid City to Sioux Falls and Minneapolis headed east and Cheyenne and Denver headed west. The federal agency is accepting public comments on the proposed routes through tomorrow. In national and international news, with former President Donald Trump emerging as the likely Republican presidential nominee, the focus shifts back to his legal entanglements. The Supreme Court is set to deliberate on April 25th regarding Trump's potential immunity from prosecution in a high-profile case concerning federal election interference. Currently, Trump's New York criminal trial centering on charges related to hush money payments to Michael Cohen prior to the 2016 election is scheduled to commence on March 25th. Trump's legal team is actively contesting the accusations and seeking to narrow the scope of admissible evidence for the impending trial. Meanwhile, in Arizona, prosecutors have issued numerous grand jury subpoenas pertaining to Trump and his associates' endeavors to challenge the 2020 election results. The acceleration of the Arizona probe hints at its significance leading up to the presidential election in November. A Russian missile detonated near a convoy transporting Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis during a lethal assault on the Ukrainian city of Odessa yesterday. Here's Kevin Phillips with all the details. While the leaders emerged unscathed, the attack claimed the lives of five individuals and inflicted injuries on others. Zelensky frequently embarks on perilous journeys to the front lines and has hosted numerous world leaders in Ukraine, this amid the ongoing conflict with Russia. Yet the incident marks one of the closest brushes with danger for the president. The strike's proximity to Mitsotakis, which represents a NATO member state, underscores the potential global ramifications of the conflict. And as the conflict in Gaza persists, severe hunger exasperates the death toll. According to the Palestinian Ministry of Health, at least 20 individuals, including children, have succumbed to malnutrition and dehydration since the onset of the war. Israel's stringent restrictions on aid have depleted crucial supplies, with nearly 40 percent of U.N. aid missions facing denials or impediments of Israel last month, as reported by the organization. Hospitals have become targets of violence, leading the medical system in ruins and offering no respite for those in need of care. The Ministry of Health in Gaza disclosed alarming statistics this week, noting 364 health workers killed, 269 medical staff detained, 155 health facilities destroyed, and 155 ambulances attacked since the conflict began. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center. Today, cloudy with a high of 35. Overnight, partly cloudy, low 23. That was the Daily Slice for Thursday, March 7th of 2024. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group. Hosted by Amy Rose with Kevin Phillips. Executive producer, Mark Houston. Engineered by Chris Jackwest. I'm Amy Rose. Have a great day.